after inspecting recovery efforts in the northern province of Yên Bái following recent floods. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính arrived in the neighboring Lào Cai province, a new village which has hit by the devastating landslide. The government leader conducted an on-site inspection of the search, rescue and relief operations while offering condolences to the survived victims. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Ching expressed his profound condolences to the families of the deceased and missing, as well as to those who have lost their homes and possessions. The Prime Minister requested Lao Cai to develop a plan for land allocation and housing support for displaced residents, for those who lost their homes in New Village. This housing arrangement must be completed by December 31st. The United States International Technology Security and Innovation Funds in Vietnam was recently announced in a ceremony in Hanoi. The event also marked the first anniversary of the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership for Peace, Cooperation and Sustainable Development between Vietnam and the United States. The event was organized by the National Innovation Center in collaboration with the U.S. Department of State, the U.S. Embassies in Vietnam and Arizona State University. The ceremony was attended by Minister of Planning and Investment Nguyen Chi Dung and U.S. Ambassador to Vietnam Mark Knapper. The announcement was a meaningful and practical event represented a significant milestone in advancing the project developing human resources for the semiconductor industry by 2030 with a vision to 2050. I mean, there's a reason that Vietnam uh, was one of eight countries as part of the uh, CHIPS Act, ITSI program, and it's because I think of the, the, our belief uh, of the incredible potential that Vietnam has uh, to become a very valuable member of Established under the U.S. CHIPS Act of 2022, the International Technology Security and Innovation Fund is designed to boost semiconductor capabilities and enhance the resilience of the global semiconductor supply chains. Vietnam is one of eight strategic countries selected for this initiative. The Asia-Pacific Forum for Young Francophones is taking place in Hanoi. This year, forum focuses on employment, creativity and innovations as the heart of the Francophone community in the region. The three-day event is jointly held by the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union Central Committee, the National Committee on Youth of Vietnam and the Asia-Pacific Regional Office of the International Organization La Francophonie, with its foreign policy of diversification and multilateralization. Vietnam attaches great importance to cooperation with the Francophone community. The team of the forum sees the context of the fourth industrial revolution, the sharing economy and the booming trend of innovation and startups. The forum is expected to offer trends for the participants to exchange experience in employment and startup in the French-speaking environment as well as in sustainable development. Vietnam Furniture Products introduced at UK Fair. Cha Fish Export to US China Recover. Furniture products of 15 Vietnamese businesses are introduced at the Sorge Garden Fair in Birmingham, UK. This marks the first time Vietnam has participated in the UK largest garden and outdoor furniture exhibitions. The fair features 700 and 800 companies displaying garden furniture, craft products and decor technologies, attracting about 7,000 buyers from the UK and Europe. Vietnam both feature a wide range of outdoor wooden, 
furniture and crafts made from sustainably sourced materials certified by international standard. The participation of Vietnamese companies was supported by the Vietnam Trade Office in the UK and K's and P Global Limited, a UK company that connects Vietnamese wood manufacturers with online platforms. China and the U.S. are the two largest importer of wild fish in the world, and Vietnam is the second largest supplier for both markets. During the first half of the year, Vietnam's wild fish export to the United States reaching 184 million U.S. dollars, accounting for 21 percent of total U.S. import turnover of the products. For the Chinese market, as of the end of July, Vietnam was still the second largest supplier of white fish to this country, following Russia, with a value of 162 million U.S. dollar. Most notably, frozen Pangasius filets remain the major export item to the fastidious market.